interesting story actually. It, it was established around about 20 years ago um, and it began as a Friends of the Story Institute. This building was, um, uh, it, it was, it had loads of different uses and at the time this space, which is a purpose-built gallery space, wasn't used at all. Um, and there was a group of artists locally who wanted to uh, initially do one exhibition and use this space to do that exhibition. Um, and it grew from the Friends of the Story Gallery into an artist-led initiative, a group of, of artists um, running several temporary exhibitions. It's gone on from that first exhibition to this is our now 101st exhibition. There's three core members of staff, which is um, John Angus, who's the director, uh, myself, the programme manager, and um, Sue Smith, who is our admin and finance manager. As artists, you start these things and suddenly find yourself in a director position where you have all of the, those responsibilities of running an organisation, which maybe aren't the reasons that you got into it in the first place. So I think for John it's really important that he maintains some input into the programme, which is really why you do this. We did 100 exhibitions in this space um, and then about two and a half years ago the building was closed for refurbishment. So we moved out and ran an entirely off-site uh, programme which included artist research commissions, um, projects in the public realm, work with schools, a series of talks on art and, um, and artist films and it's things that the gallery has been intending or, or really wanting to do for a long time but when you're running a continuous gallery programme with yeah. three members of staff or actually before I came just two members of staff um, relative well mostly unpaid for the majority of those 20 years since it started it's very difficult to do all of those things you have aspirations to do so moving out was a great opportunity to, to do something completely different and in a sense it was quite liberating not having a space there's kind of a massive shift in contemporary art now, uh, away from sort of object-oriented practice, which maybe doesn't translate into standard yeah. exhibition practice and curatorial practice. Mm. And, and I'm really interested in, in investigating how we work with those, with that sort of practice within the gallery. Now I'd say that we're more an art, artist-focused organisation, and although we, we may do projects as artists, at the moment our main focus is, is, is um, to run this gallery. I think what artist-led spaces and whether they're still artist-led or whether that's how they started um, and then they become something different, it, I think they offer a, a real understanding of what it is to be an artist and what the needs of the artist are. So the artist always comes first. The way that we work will, will considerably shift but how that what that shift is, I'm not sure.